about season two and MB Lab Mobile using some more QJB videos. So yeah, whatever. So season two of MB Lab Mobile is a season where it's much. It's a little different than season one. And there's some differences in the my team and all that stuff. The auction house changed a little and a lot of more stuff changed. So we can start talking about the We can start talking about the team, my team first. My team is a little different than season one. It's actually a lot of difference. There's two lineups, the NBA lineup and the classic lineup. So they both have a bench now and is 10 players on each lineup they also added a coach and boosts where if you have a boost you can boost your players higher with the play style which we're all now known to and the classic lineup is only old nba players nba lineup is only current nba players so that is what happened in nba Line mobile season two for the teams, it's a little bit like um right NBA Live Mobile season six now, and much different than the six lineups or the five lineups from NBA Live Mobile season one. So, do you think it's better or worse? I believe it's all right. I barely play season two, so I don't know. They also had the reward boost, you know, where if your bench is higher enough or your lineup, then you can have a boost. Another boost, so yeah. So, now, in Season 2, the only thing that happened in Season 2 is that you can train your player 5 overalls higher than what it is based. So, if your, let's say your LeBron James card is 100 overall, then your LeBron James can be trained to a 105 overall or sometimes with their special cards can be trained even higher. That's for every single card in Emmy Lava Bowl Season 2. Which is pretty cool because all of that old stuff on your bench. All of, that, all of the old players and collectibles and like tokens. They give out tokens sometimes for your trading. You could like train them up all the way to have 80 something overall and... They would, like, for every card, so it would be cool. You can, um, all your bench, you can train them up, and so you can have less space. I mean, more space in your things now, in your team, and also those useless cards, you can just trade them up. So, you can trade any card. But it takes a lot of training points. The store is basically the same. But when you started Season 2. You had the tokens that you get from Season 1. And you can get them for packs. Store is basically the same. You have packs and bundles and all that stuff. It's basically the same as before. But it's just. It's like basically the same every year. There's some coin packs now. But most of it is cash bundles. There is. The map for the live events is basically the same as season one. So not much of a difference there. There is like legend sets, team of the week and all that cool stuff. Flashbacks and all that stuff. Very cool in season one. I mean two. So yeah, the map hasn't changed that much. Head to head league season and sets didn't change too much. Uh, NBA mobile season two. Did not change too much for then season one. Head to head is basically just you play versus your friends and stuff. Leagues, you know, league versus league. And then season didn't change that much for season one. Sets didn't change that much. So, and below season two, the teams were mostly different. Also, it went up to 103 overall, uh, a little bit higher too if you train your players. So, mostly. The newest thing was just training your players and also the new lineup set for NBA Mobile. And also another thing was bots for Auction House. Auction House changed to having bots in the middle of Season 2 because of the 
many coin sellers and all that stuff that Emi Lama did not want. And also, Emi Lama was seen to had, like, for the auctions, many people didn't like it at first, I believe, because the bots controlled all that stuff and made it harder to sell stuff. Live events were basically the same. Uh, you played through a lot of events, this, and then you trade them to the sets for players or tokens and stuff for the promos. It was still pretty fun, and there was a lot of really good packs in the store. Like, uh, there was, like, the off-season mover packs with LeBron James and DeMarcus Cousins, and those were really good because you could, like, get the get a lot of players from many different... It was kind of like cornucopia packs. You get, like, a few players from different promos that were pretty decent cards, and, yeah... This was not a really long season. And the live events, some of the pretty cool live events included the Crossroads, the first promo where you traded 50 tokens to get Lonzo or Carmelo or other players. And then there's also the NBA Rulers or Supremacy. I forgot which one it was. Uh, It was the same thing as in season one. So they added that back. They also had, like, a Kyrie promo where you just play 50 events, you can get Kyrie. The, the Harvest promo. There's a lot of pretty good promos in this in mapping, like, the sets in NBA Live Mobile Season 2. Now, I would say that NBA Live Mobile Season 2 is a downgrade from Season 1. And I was rate it a 7 out of 10 because Season 1 is a 10 out of 10, of course. But NBA Live Mobile Season 2 didn't make too much changes. And... I like the training stuff, but the rest is all right. So I'll rate it. Actually, I'll bump it up to a eight, eight out of ten, and that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. We're out.